Roger the scanner back there. That's a good one, Bill. Sounds like a good one. A little mm -hmm. high, but you know what? It has all the right sounds otherwise. I'm going to dig it up. And since it's so so con confining... I'll you know? tell you what, for our viewers here, why don't you sit right there, give me your shovel. Ooh. Strap broken. Uh-oh. -uh. We'll fix that I'll in a fix minute. It. Yes, yes. Yeah, give me your shovel for a minute. Okay. You sit right there. All right. You hold the camera back in there. Okay. All right. Well, where do you want to clear it out? So oh, okay. So All right. You stuff up. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. It's a big bar. Yes, indeed. And then we yeah, can Lord. detect that area down there. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna scan this again just to confirm because you kind of changed the landscape up a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Let me get it there. Oh. Okay. Look at Roger getting down and dirty, man. Yes, I am. Crawling in that oh. little hole. No, oh. this piece of a, a buckle, colonial buckle. Wow, look at that. Let me see if there's any. That is a piece of a buckle in this brass. Yeah, it was a good signal. Yes, it is. Wow. That is a nice find. I and mean, I'll tell you something, I'm amazed. This is a different part of this site that we have not hunted due to these. You see, these are like uh, thorned vines. It's very difficult. And yet the vines are coming here. Because again, Bill, we're taking the road less travel. That we are. I think we got it. I think that was it. I uh, think we got it. Now we're going to want to scan like this area you opened up. Yep. That's like half of a uh, buckle there. Brass yeah. buckle. Very ornate. It is. Um, I say that goes back to this era, you know. Well, no the 1700s. You so. know what, Bill? Even after all this hunting, this, I think, even though it's a piece of one, this is the fanciest one I've ever found. Yeah, that's a very nice one, yep. We have to ask the uh, property, the original property owner through the spear fox, and then we could maybe ask him about this piece. I say that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, that'll be a trigger point. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's great. Okay, well, let's finish up this section. Move on to the next one. Watch it stand. That was a nice find. Oh. Whatever you do, don't move. I got it. Yeah. Roger's earning these keep today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I feel> like <laughs> Look at the mouth there. You got weeds out of a jagger and they're coming out of his oh, mouth yeah, detector. Nice. There you go. Sign of a true relic hunter. Well, oh, look at that. That's, let's see what that is. Nickel? Yes. Coin? Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of thumping out a bit, but... Well, you got nickel. All right. I'm getting... It's, it's still kind of shutting down a bit. We're getting a kick, but you know what? Yeah. That could still be something good. All right, here. Hold your... <laughs> Roger getting carried away. He loves the sound of that music. I do. I wasn't even pointing the camera right, so... And I can't say it was punk rock. <laughs> It no, certainly wasn't exploited singing the song, saying my life or something. I never really had any connection to punk rock myself, though. Yeah. But I will tell you, though, I did meet Joan Jett one time. Wow. I did. But you know what? It wasn't the way you think. She was doing the We Love Erie Days uh, festival up there. Yeah, she did that because she, she was did, from she Erie. She was from Erie, that's right. Yeah. And uh, they had a free concert. And I went down there at lunchtime. I went down there from where I was working up at the courthouse, Bill. That was, you know, the early days of my ambulance chasing career. <laughs> and, uh, and I went and I was standing, I couldn't, there was a big crowd. I couldn't get, like, you know, a prime front row type uh, place. But I did stand right on the very edge of the stage. It was elevated. I was, like, on the same level as Joan. And Joan was throwing these free Frisbees at. She's up there. She's holding the Frisbee. <laughs> She looks me right in the eye, and I just knew right then and there she was going to throw me the frisbee. Mm -hmm. So she threw it, Bill. It went over the heads. All these people are all going like this, and these people thought I was going to drop it. I didn't. 
he went right to me, I caught it, I held it up and I waved to Joan, and she was on to the next song. So, that was my... That Did was you my, hear uh, one of her older songs when she used to be in The Runaways, the punk rock group, yes, The Runaways? Yes, I, I did, Bill. And you she know, sung that song, The Cherry Bomb? Yes, I did. And you know what, too, Bill? A few years after that, she was on the uh, Highlander TV series as a guest. She yes, was one of the was, Immortals. Yeah. And I, I remember her from I remember Cherry. that. And I thought, look, that's amazing. She was up there at Erie. I saw her. I was probably about maybe... I don't know, 40 feet away from her. Yeah. And there she ends up on the, the Highlander TV series. Amazing. Huh? Small world. Joan, if you remember me, I doubt you will, but you're more than welcome to be a guest on this program. <laughs> well, we all love that. Let's get back to Relic. Cause she, she's a Pennsylvania girl, Bill. That she is. That was a good team. Yeah. But that's not pretty good. Okay, what this shows, this is just like the old days. Mm -hmm. Well, the old days, we just have to get where nobody else is going. Try the nickel button. You think? It's iffy, it's marking. It's, yeah. right there. But dig a little more. If we don't get, we'll move on. Alright. Joan Judge, she's not that tall. She's about, well, about five foot, five foot two. Yeah, she's not a big girl. You know, she's still, even today, she's still a knockout, man. Yeah, I, I wouldn't turn it down, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who would, you know? I mean, she had this everybody's childhood dream right there to be with Joan Jett. And, uh, and here she's pretty loud. Jeez. What do you think? Use the stand up and dig out with the shovel. Get move some serious dirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we got it out, Bill. Yeah. Now it's kind of a clip signal. The old-fashioned way, you grab handfuls of dirt and scan it and throw it in the hole. No fancy knockoff pinpointer, Bill? Ow! <laughs> See? You should, I should be wearing leather gloves. Because I got a thorn right through the dirt. Today, we, we, he didn't bring any gloves with him No, today. I didn't. And then. See, you know, just like the old Columbo detective series, Bill, I'm finding out that details make the big difference. That's why, you know, when you people out there planning any murders, you better do your homework. Jeez. <laughs> 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 don't take that literally, okay? No, don't. I'm just, it's all fun. I, like Trump didn't sell comic books. Just, I kid, I kid. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I say we'll fill that up and move on. You know what? I'm thinking... Um, try and nickel that. No, it's not. No, let it go. I'm thinking maybe it's that uh, spirit that we playing games with us. It could be. It's possible. Old man Wallace doesn't want us to have this. Well, don't say that. I think this, Bill, I think that if he had known us, he would have liked us, and I think he would have wanted us to have it. Well, I guess he wanted you to have part of his buckle to remind you of him. Either that or later when we try to talk to him, he'll let me know differently. Uh, we would just get done digging and... Yeah. If I just scanning in it more in here and he got a nice signal. It zinked somewhat and nickel good. Yeah. And he just dug the plug and yeah. you can see it's right there. It's right here. And I can see it. You right see there. it? Right here. You've got a thimble. 
Be very careful with these, yeah. they do collapse. Um, you know what, Bill? This one has no cracks. Yeah, but they do crack easy, and, and uh, uh, that's definitely from the air. What, you know, what we want to do is, is uh, yeah, mm. did we bring our olive oil with us. I know yeah. I didn't bring any. I'm, I'm sure you do, so we'll yes. go and put that in there. Okay. And uh, right away, so it preserve it. So when you do clean it, it doesn't break on you, because right now it's oxidizing, or the metal is yeah. going to turn to pot metal. So. You're right. Maybe I'll just put a little back yeah. in some more dirt here, Bill. Yep. Just like so, those well, deals, I've got to pack them up right. Yep. Well, we're going to go and get that container. Okay. Right away. Okay, well, Bill, like I said earlier, you got to take the bad with the good, and here's the bad. Got a nice signal, kind of iffy, but it had a nice tone to it. Turned out to be a piece of aluminum can. Well, that's that's the brakes. That's what you got to do to get them old 1750s thimbles and stuff, and that's coppers right. and all that. And yeah, like anything in life, Bill, you got to work for it. Uh, there's a lot to say to be said about that, even in marriage. That's true, Bill. Marriage, uh, even having mistresses. I mean, you know, any, any <laughs> of this stuff, Bill. You got sometimes with that, you got to work twice as hard <laughs> on the marriage and the mistress. Well, the key is to get that perfect one, and then you don't have to have a mistress. It's true, and then also the perfect balance. You know, the old song, "Torn Between Two Lovers," Bill, feeling like a fool. <laughs> yeah. Well, that happens in that situation with the wife and the mistress. Yes, and that hearing that's a lot of them keep you in business. I, I assume. They do, Bill. They do. You know, there's even been cases involving love childs. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's get cracking, man. Man. Get cracking. Daylights are burning. That's right. We're like John Wayne said, we're burning daylight. Yeah. So let's get going, Bill. Oh, I started digging the hole. I pinpoint started digging the hole, and I looked. I saw the outline of it. It was on the surface, but uh, it must have been washed out. So or from this, remember we got a lot of rain we this did. week. We did. And yes. you did some digging around here. That's right. We were chasing some signals up there. Yeah. I think you might have popped this out and lost it last week. I know we had difficulty back here we last week. We had difficulty, yeah. Yeah. Got a little reef around it. It's real thin. Yeah. Thin wire. That's definitely from the 1750s, 1760s there. It would have been like what, off a shirt, You would you say? Yeah, I would say a shirt, yeah. Wow, well, that's great. Yeah, it is awesome, man. That's right. a terrific find, awesome. We're going to keep going. This well, I'd love to say it's worth 300 bucks or 50 bucks. I but, would. But as true colonial relic hunters, it's not about what it's worth. This might be even one worth a dollar, but it's, it's uh, just fine in the that's artifact. That's right, in a piece of history. Period. And you know what, too? It's not that, like you see on these. And we keep talking about these TV shows, Bill, but they all like, go to these famous sites. Well, guess what? Just like in modern times, there's a lot of not-so-famous sites where there was history. The people lived during that era. I agree. And, and that's what I love is going to these sites and finding things from their world, from right. their existence, something they touched. I agree. And they don't have to be George Washington or no. somebody famous. It does not, and that's what us true relic hunters do. We go the off-beaten path. That's right. The road and we want to go. Yeah, we want to go to the places where nobody ever thought about going. Exactly. So, so um, awesome, man. Thanks. We're gonna okay, keep going. Okay, we're going right. to another part of the site. As you see, we have base camp over here. That's right. For these expeditions, you have to have a base camp. You don't mind me taking your daffodils, do you? said no. Did he say no? Well, thank you very much. I like them too. Every time I see them when they flower, I'll think of you. Can you make this compass spin around? Please? Hey, show us you're really here. He said something. Yeah. I thought he said no. Yeah, I thought so too. I guess
guess he doesn't want to play parlor tricks with us. What you prove to everybody? And make this compass spin around. And let them know you're here with us. He said something. Yeah, I thought he said no way. You know, he might be weak. If we did an EMF pump, he might be able to say more. What was that? What did he say? I thought it was a woman saying thank you. Actually. Okay. We'll have to slow that down. I thought she was saying excuse me, but I well, could, that be, could be Excuse me too. That's I could good. be wrong. Sometimes it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, we'll have to slow it down, which we, we will. Why don't you tell me your name? Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah. That was a woman. That was a woman. I, I think I, I spoke when she was... I thought it said Becky, but... Becky? Is that your name? Becky? Why don't you touch the compass for me? No, thank you. Well, I think woman. Woman. It's a woman. It's, I think it's a woman. Can you repeat that again, please? Did you notice by that compass that the, the War 1812 compass? That was a man. I thought he said no. Were you the lady of the house, madam? What was that? What, what do you think? We have two spirits here. I think so. I changed the sleep a little bit. Maybe we'll you, that. you don't want to talk to us no more. I thought I heard a no. That's what I thought. Like Roger said, you done talking to us now. What is that?